What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and everything that we know about this phone. I've compiled a list from the previous video that we did on this uh, month or two ago, and now we have even more updated information and more information that is correct about this phone. So I wanted to go through that list. Got to keep the the, the, the spectacles on because uh, I need to see. So displays, you're looking at 7.6 inch AMOLED display, 120 hertz, also with a 6.2 inch uh, outside display or cover display, 120 hertz on there, wider, brighter, higher resolution potentially, that's what we're hearing about this. How bright, how much of a resolution increase, um, we don't fully know on that, but definitely the outside display would be just a little bit wider, but it's really the crease that's being decreased, if that makes any sense. Um, it used to be like rounded. It's kind of, they've kind of like just evened everything out on the edges. So it'll probably feel like the same size phone in your hand. You'll just have a little bit more display on the outside uh, for the most part, but the inside display should measure about the same as the original uh, Galaxy Z Fold 5. Weight is less. You're looking at 239 grams, and the last year's version was 253 grams, if I'm not mistaken. So there will be a lesser weight to the overall phone of the Z Fold 6, which is always a good thing for the experience of less, getting less fan, hand fatigue uh, and creating a better experience for the user. The unfolded size and the folded size uh, are looking at 5.6 and 12.1 millimeters, so it should be thinner. Yeah, it goes with the lightness, so this should be the thin thinnest folding phone Samsung has ever released, which again will help with ergonomics, uh, a better overall experience, and people are, just, I think, are going to be more blown away by that and be like, oh, this is awesome. It feels great in my hand. Finally, a Galaxy Fold that feels great in my hand. Processor, definitely the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. Uh, you won't see an 8 Gen 4 on here. It's not going to be delayed any, uh, the, at least the Z Fold 6 won't be. And then uh, yeah, they're not going to go to some other media tech or some other processor or an Exynos. It'll be an 8 Gen 3. On there, 12 gigs of RAM is what we're hearing. Haven't heard anything about the 16 lately, so I'm not even going to run with that rumor anymore. Uh, 12 gigs of RAM on the phone. Storage, you're looking at 256, 512, and 1 terabyte. That should be locked in already. And uh, you got to expect they're going to get free storage upgrades when they do the pre order. So most people will probably end up with the 512. Cameras, same as the Fold 5 and Fold 4. We had heard that they might use some higher megapixels. They might do this, they might do that, but it's basically, it is, it's not even basically, it is. It's the same cameras as the Fold 5 and the Fold 4. So three years of the same cameras. The battery, 4,400 milliamp. I've also seen rumors lately saying 4,800 milliamps. So it definitely would be at least 44, nothing more than 48. I, if I had to put a final guess on it, I'm going to say 4,400 milliamps. I, I, I hope it's 48. I think it'd be nice for the overall battery usage of it, especially because the phone's going to be, will be thinner. So I don't know if they're going to be able to fit in a, a bigger battery at that time, but let's just keep our fingers crossed on that. Colors, you're looking at navy, silver shadow, and pink as the normal colors, colors you'll be able to buy at the carrier, the colors that you'll be able to buy on Samsung, but there's also make some exclusive colors too, which will be white and also black, and those will be the exclusive Samsung.com colors. Um, so five colors in total, and it's kind of nice that they're not going to traditional uh, black phone as one of the normal colors. That's, that's an exclusive color to their website. Charging 25 watt wired and 15 watt wireless, there will not be any 45 watt charging on this, which is just kind of strange and crazy at this point in time, especially with how long they've been using 25 watt wired charging. It's, it's, it's insane. Software Android 14 running Samsung One UI 6.1.1, and that is definitely going to be what they're doing. The beta for Android 15 is not even out there yet for Samsung to people, so it will be towards the end of this year, so you should have Android 15 with whatever they have at that point, probably Samsung One UI 7.0 at that point. Hinge, you're looking at refined, smoother folding, less visible crease, but then we've also seen it might not have a, 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 as less a crease as possible. I think it will be a little less though, if I had to guess and what we've kind of heard so far. So I'm gonna say, hoping anyway, that it will be less of a crease. Durability, Gorilla Glass Armor for increased protection, kind of what they do, they usually increase the protection of the glass and it's usually a, a generation better on the Gorilla Glass than what they had uh, previous 
generation. The water resistance, IPX8 for sure, but there's also a rumor going out that it will be IP68, which means dust and water resistant. IPX8 is only water resistant. Um, I, I kind of feel like we're gonna see IP68. Uh, and the reason that being is because the phone's getting a price increase and also the phone hasn't changed that much. And I think this would be a, a cool selling point for Samsung to have for the phone. There will be S Pen support. It won't go inside the phone, but it will be able to write with an S Pen. AI, we heard this is gonna be an AI heavy phone, and obviously it will. One of the exclusive, at least exclusive features that we'll get in the beginning would be graffiti becomes an image. Basically, when you draw something, it'll automatically create or show you an image of what you just drew. Um, so if you drew a, a Empire State Building, uh, it would create that and show it as a real image of what you drew. It's kind of a cool little feature that it has. Release, you're looking at probably the announcement would come in early to mid-July of July 2024. And then the actual release date, you're probably looking more towards the end of July 2024. But everything should happen in July of 2024. I've heard Paris is where they might launch the phone. And um, so it wouldn't surprise me if they end up doing there. The price, and this is pretty much locked in from what we've seen, 256 gigabyte is gonna be 18, uh, 1899, 512 would be 2019, and one terabyte would be 2259. Basically a $100 increase across the board versus last year's phones. You're almost getting back to the original pricing, which was, what was it, 1929 when the Fold 2 came out, I think? And we're getting back into that. It's like, you would think they're getting the price is less because they've been making these for a while, but now it looks like the price is going up for this. But that's what we are getting so far about the Fold 6. We've seen real images, which I can't show you for copyright strike reasons. But anyways, yeah, um, by the time I make this video, it's probably gonna be eventually a, a link for you guys to uh, reserve it or pre-order it. So just check that down below in the description. If I have it, I will post it. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think so far of the Fold 6? Disappointed, excited, a little bit of both? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, I would say that I am I am excited because it is the phone I use on a daily basis, the Fold 5, and I would like to try something new from Samsung. And you know, I think this is gonna be more of that refinement, and I think it's gonna be probably the best folding phone that you can probably get, potentially, in North America and a lot of parts of the world, but let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.